Hello everybody, my name is Pavel Zoch and I would like to show you maybe or probably the best Cinema 4D free plugin ever. This plugin is named CM Nodes and this plugin will change your view you see material editing and so on. Uh, the plugin is developed by uh, Chris Montezano, uh, he is an amazing guy and programmer and he made many pu very powerful plugins for Cinema 4D already. And this is maybe the best of them, of course. Okay, where to find it? Uh, just use the Google and type uh, CM Notes. Yeah, Cinema 4D, that's perfect. And here's the web page. You can download the plugin from the web page here and install it by a very well known way. Just download the zip file, unzip the file, and place the plugin folder to Cinema 4D plugins folder that's all okay and you will find the plugin here in plugins menu okay let's start as you can see the plugin is pretty complex it's very nice menu and uh, it's uh, applies to several main location of Cinema 4D. The plugins menu is the first is the main location of the plugin but you will find uh, some setups here as well in CM stuff, CM notes, and your preferences. And the last, just create a new material, open your material itself, and go to this channel, but it's not so important, of course. And here is a special, here's a special CM, CM note shader as well. Okay, let's start. Just go to Plugins menu and create a new palette from CM Notes menu, and we can place the palette here. It will be perfect, I think. The most important command is named CM Note Editor because it will open the editor of the uh, of uh, the CM Notes plugin itself. Just click to this button and it will open the editor. It's empty at the moment because his no tree selected. It's very important. We must create a new tree and this tree will contain everything we will do. So go to the right upper corner and click to this first icon and add tree here. You can rename it to the Cooper for example. Perfect. And as you can see it's changed a bit. Just press the Alt key on your keyboard plus left mouse button and it will move you will be able to move your view. Perfect. I use the scroll on your mouse and you will change your zoom. Perfect. Go to view and zoom to 100 percent. That's all. Perfect. Okay. How to build the first material of uh, your uh, of your scene? It's very very easy test. Just use the right mouse button and select the material from the context menu here the first way okay we can use this button as well it's here the same okay and we can use this command as well as the same again so just use the right mouse button here and create a new material what happened as you can see we have uh, created the first really the first node here perfect just select the node and go to Atibus Manager settings and, ch uh, and check its name and see its material yeah okay just go to add uh, to material uh, manager as well and here's a new material as well oh great perfect just go to Atibus manager and activate the luminance channel for example yeah it's changed yeah color luminance specular great as you can see it's the way how CM node plugin works because it always generate a complex you can always generate a complex node structure but an output of the structure must be connected with your material and this connection can be done by this material that's built directly in your uh, in your CM node editor or by a bit different way just use the right mouse button here and create a new output node okay is the second approach we have so open the newest material we made and go 
to reflection, for example, it's not so important, and use the CM node shader here. Okay, open the uh, shader settings, click to this small button, and there can drop and place the output here. That's all. Okay. Use the right mouse button here again and create a new input. Use solid color. It will be absolutely enough. And just connect the output on the right side with the input on the left side of our output node. That's all. Select the solid color node and just its color. Yeah. It works. So it's the way how CM node plugin works. It's very very easy, I think. Okay, let's start. Just imagine that we will reconstruct this cube material. It's very simple material, of course, because it uses these two channels only. And here is uh, the color contains a colorizer shader, and it contains a Fresnel. That's all. And Fresnel use this. Uh, index of uh, reflection value 1 to 1 and the same is here but uh, the color as a color is a bit different that's all but just imagine that we will adjust the Fresnel because we would like to simulate a, a different metal for example a different surface so in this case you must adjust this Fresnel and then use the same value here okay just imagine you have the almost same shaders to your structure of your material, it can be placed on several places, six times for example, and you must always change everything. It's very hard task because uh, you will do something wrong very often. Okay, but nodes are absolutely different because uh, it, they will speed up your workflow. Okay, go back. I think uh, we can delete this material. We can delete the node as well, and this as well. We can delete the solid color as well. Uh, let's start again. Just use the right mouse button and create a new material here. Okay, open the material itself and we can rename it. Great. And for now, we need a new Fresnel shader. Use the right mouse button, go to shaders menu and use SLA and use Fresnel from the list here. Great, as you can see it's a standard cinema 4D Fresnel shaders. I select the node, go to attribute manager settings and, ch and set its settings here. Yeah, here's a gradient and we can use a physical value here. So activate the option and use 1.1 Perfect. And we need colorize current colors of the Fresnel. So how to do that? Because Cinema 4D shaders are supported but they can generate their outputs only. We can try it. Just use right mouse button, go to shaders, use SLA again and use a colorizer for example. Yeah, but we can connect these two nodes. Hmm. Okay, we, we must use a different node, of course. Use right mouse button again and uh, go to adjust and here's colorize node again. But this is an internal colorize node of uh, CM nodes plugin. And just connect the Fresnel with the node and connect the colorize with our material. Perfect. Uh, I think that we can hide the Fresnel settings. Just click to the small button and it will, um, use double click and it will close the preview of the Fresnel. And open Colorize node by the same way. Okay, perfect. And click to this icon and we can go to Attributes Manager Settings and adjust its volume. Perfect. Just change the interpolation, for example, use linear mode. It will change colors. And the left can be something like this for example. Okay, great. We will use almost the same but with different colors in reflection. So use right mouse button again and you go to adjust, use colorize 
and connect the Fresnel with color eyes. As you can see, we don't need to have more Fresnel shaders now. And connect the output with CM nodes and reflection. Just open uh, the Cooper material itself, go speculars, turn off speculars and use reflections instead of speculars. And we can adjust the blur in its values to 20 here. That's all. And go back and use a reflection here as well. Yeah, here CM nodes shader already. That's perfect. Okay, and we can connect the colorize node with a reflection. Okay, open the colorize itself and change uh, the interpolation, use linear mode again and change this color can we just like this ok, that's all and we can apply our material to the sphere object here and that's the result We got you a nice look at surface, I think. So we can imagine that we can combine uh, our uh, structure with other inputs. So we can open the editor again and uh, adjust the surface and make it a bit more dynamic and a bit more interesting, I think. So click the CM Notes editor again. And just imagine that we will uh, multiply uh, our surface color with an other, with another sample. So we can use the red mouse button again, go to shaders, SLA and use Cinema 4D noise for example. Yeah, it's possible. Okay, go here, can collapse these two nodes. It's better because it will speed up your editor and uh, select the node itself and we can go to Advanced Manager Settings and we can adjust the uh, type of our node, we can use this one for example and change the space because we will use the same for uh, normals for uh, normals channel, for normals channel as well so I use the space as, uh, I change the space value to UV you can scale the shadow down a bit and can use some cycles for example it will be more dynamic great and just imagine that we will use the shader and we will multiply the the content of the noise with the colorize okay use the right mouse button again or we can use this one and again we can't use cinema 4 diffusion for example because it does not have an input on the left side yeah, we can try it. It's fusion. Yeah, it does not have an input here. So you go to adjust and we can use the math node or we can use channels and use the blend mode. Okay, the first we can use the math. Place the node here and connect the noise with the first input and connect the colorize with the second. Oh, sorry. And for now, connect the math with the color of the material. Great. So the math, and we can adjust the operation. Use multiply and adjust the mix volume. Perfect. And we can use, and we can use a mask as well. It's very, very nice and very important, of course. Okay, so we can use the same for the reflection as well, but we will use a different node. Just use the right mouse button, go to channels and use the blend. It's a very powerful node. And connect the color eyes with the input B. And connect the first input with the noise. That's all. And select the blend and go to Atomus Manager settings. And check the blend mode the list here it's very very long and very powerful okay use multiply again that's all 
adjust the mix value and connect the result with the material. And we can test the result again. It's really cool, as you can see. So we can use the same shader and use it in the material, in a normal uh, channel as well. So open the CM node editor and select the last output node of our material and activate normals here. Okay, and for now we can use the right mouse button again, go uh, to effects, effects here and use normal map. So that's amazing, just connect the input with the noise and connect these two parts as well. So the normal map and uh, can open its settings here, can collapse the noise and uh, adjust the height a bit. It looks better and we can change the radius as well. Okay, and does the result. You can use method and other method as well, but it's not so simple, I think, for now. And uh, open the material itself and change this global stand. And test the result. Okay, normals are too high at the moment, but it's not so important, of course, because we have seen how to combine everything together. And it's, it's, uh, notes, it's a notes editing power, of course. Here in the last we can test is uh, a mask. So use right mouse button and we can use um, uh, shares SI and we can use uh, tiles for example for that. But it's not so important to get a demonstration on left course. Tiles and uh, select the shader itself, go to Atibus Manager settings and change uh, these values then to zero and set this color to white and we can use this color set this color to black and connect the tiles with uh, this mouth and can activate the mouse by this button this uh, trigger and use the same with, uh, with uh, use the same here and just imagine that we can use the same for normal maps as well because but but we must use a bit different way of course just use the right mouse button and use edges use math for example and we can use uh, multiply mode and multiply these two values together that's all I love it and that's the result oh uh, open the setup oh sorry here <laughs> of course uh, and adjust its size use so to presence for example it will be enough Perfect. As I said before, I think uh, this plugin is extremely powerful. As I said before, I think it's the best free plugin of Cinema 4D ever. Don't forget and study all its features and all its notes because it contains really many very powerful notes and setups just go to FX, just it has blur for example directional blur emboss and we can, and so on we can for example the great shader is absolutely perfect because we can change almost everything we can use curves can change color space we can mix uh, we can mix all channels of your picture, for example, red to blue, and so on. I think it's really 
as I said before, really amazing plugin for me. Okay, thank you for watching and don't miss CM Notes plugin.